Ghana is mourning, mourning the death of its president, Professor John Atta Mills. This was the mood in parliament as the nation mourned the death of a president whose term was to come to an end in four months' time. Now, members of parliament had been here in a session before the sad news of the death of President John Atta Mills, news that changed the mood in the entire country. And the MPs were later recalled to converge here for the swearing-in ceremony of the Vice President. John Mahama arrived in Parliament escorted by the Speaker of the National Assembly to be sworn in as the new President in accordance with the Constitution. The President had been taken ill around midday and passed on about two hours later at the 37 military hospital. The Vice President took both the oath of allegiance to the Constitution and oath of office of President around 8 p.m. local time, and that was about 11 p.m. Kenyan time. I, I, John Dramani Mahama, do in the name of the Almighty God swear, do in the name of the Almighty God swear, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Republic of Ghana as by law established. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Republic of Ghana as by law established. And he was given the instruments of power as the gathering inside the August House looked on. He later gave his inaugural speech, beginning with condolences to the family of the late president. Madam Speaker, we must all seek God's continued blessings on our land at this time of grief. And tribute to President Atamils, and as an expression of deep sorrow, I have requested that for the next one week, all flags should fly at half-mast as we begin this difficult period of national mourning. This is an extremely difficult time, and we must bear up together as a nation. May the good Lord grant us the strength and fortitude to do this. God bless our homeland, Ghana. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. President. I now move on to the leader.